I'm happy to be back and I'm going to get started. Okay. So like I said, this could be a kid's craft. It could be of any age. It can be um, an adult craft. Um, it's just something that you probably have a lot of it already on hand. I was going in one direction and then I flipped um, at the last minute and ran outside and thought I'd go a different direction on this. So what I've got, and you, you don't need canvas. This is just a flat canvas, a 11 by 14. Um, you get them in three packs, I think, um, at Walmart, uh, Hobby Lobby. Let me get this out of the way so I don't spill too. Um, you can definitely cut cardboard. That would work too. Um, cardboard would be great. I would probably maybe put scrapbook paper over the cardboard then, but just something to get it lighter or paint the cardboard. Just something to get it a little bit lighter so you can see. Thank you, Rob, and I appreciate it. Thanks, Jana. Thanks, Maureen. Thanks, everybody, for doing that. And I don't even, I can't even show you how to do it or my sign to show you. So, okay, so what you need to do is you need to go out and gather some branches. And um, I don't have them on the ground. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm wondering if my dog is going to come running up here right now. He's outside with my husband. So I just gathered some branches and we're going to make a wall art for kids, okay? You can do it for kids, you can do it for yourself, but it'll be something fun that they can even hang in their room or put on your mantle or on a shelf or something. Thanks everybody for passing it on. Brandy, I'm so much better. I have a good head cold now. You could probably hear in the way I'm talking. I can't hear very well, but I don't need to hear to do this, right? So... Yeah, I, I have to hear my husband though, and I keep saying, huh? <laughs> so it's almost like a reverse for that. So I do have a heck hold, um, so I apologize for the talking, but I'm back. All right, so um, all I'm gonna do, now I'm using low temp hot glue. Um, if you're using with young kids, you're gonna wanna help them with this. You could use like a thick and tacky glue that they could use maybe a little bit more, but you would wanna help a little bit. So I'm gonna be laying it out. We're gonna be doing a canvas and we're gonna, you want everything to sort of come down to a middle, okay? So, and you don't really, oh, let me think. It's okay if it sticks a little above and out like this. I'm just thinking in my head because I haven't tried this yet. So this may be my disaster. I always try, you know, I always try but this may be my disaster. So I'm just putting a bead of glue. Oh, okay. Along on here. And again, it's okay if some of them stick up, all right? And I went out and got a bunch of them. You gather them from outside. This is a really cheap actual craft. And again, I think it's a lot of things that you already have. It's okay if they go on top of each other and you want them, you, you don't really have to plan, but you want them to be able to lay out and make sure you get enough glue where they're going to be sticking on. I think this one I'm gonna stick under here. That'll work, see how I did that? If, if some are sticking up, stick it under. That'll work. And let's slide that under there. And it's okay that you get glue around. You're not gonna see it when we're done. You got any fridges, fridges. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. I'm not sure what the fridges means. Hey, Donna. Oh, thank you, Dawn. All right, so I'm just gonna put several of these on. And again, I'm just gluing them in place. They're all sort of coming down to a central spot here. And you don't have to glue at the top. You need to glue at the bottom. All right. And that's what I got. So I think I might add, and you can use different different ones. I'm gonna stick another one out like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Can everybody see what I'm doing? Thank you, Dawn. So maybe you can see what I'm doing. Just sticking them in. 
Again, this will be a fun kid crack. Keep those kids busy in these next weeks and months to come, depending how long it takes. But everybody, please keep your sanity. It's insane out there right now. Yes, grandchildren will love it. Keep the kids busy. All right, and they can go gather. All right, that's the start. I have a couple extra. I don't think we're going to need them. Okay, next. Oh, and I actually was going to grab something else. I might go and grab it in a little bit. Um, yeah, I might grab it in a little bit. We'll see. All right, so this is just a little bit of moss, uh, Dollar Tree. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to start with something else from the Dollar Tree. You see these? Um, you put them in the little wire cages for plants. We're going to use this. And I'm going to cut this down. This is from the Dollar Tree also. I'm going to cut it down. I want it wider, so I'll be able to glue it down. If you cut it a little wider, that's okay. I've never done this before. We'll see how it works. I want it wider than this bottom, okay? Granddaughter's musical was canceled. They worked so hard. I know, that's so sad. My grandson was gonna be going to Florida with their, their high school does every four years and their trip was planned, that's canceled too. So, you know, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, you yeah. um, know. All right, so, and then we're just gonna cut a piece of this off. And we're gonna have this like a pot. Hi, Judy, it's okay you came in late, right? Thank you, Laura. So, all right, so this is gonna be like a pot. Isn't that, that's gonna be really cute. All right, if I say so myself, I haven't tried it, but we're gonna do that. So that's gonna be a pot. Okay, I'm gonna glue that down right away. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the three sides. And again, I'm using low temp hot glue just because if you're doing it with kids, you're gonna want the low temp. You can also use thick and tacky glue. If you do it for yourself, use hot glue by all means. Burn yourself like I always do. Thank you, Robin. Hi, Vicki. All right, so how many kids and grandkids are gonna do this? How many are gonna be babysitting for your kids and grandkids? And not babysitting for your kids, it's your kids. Hey, Debbie, thank you. I am really glad to be back too. Like I said, you can hear it in my voice now um, and my sinuses are not good but I'm feeling so much better. Hey, Ruby. All right, you see that? Isn't that cute, right? Um, now we're gonna use the um, moss. Yeah, I announced the winners this morning. If you didn't check that out, um, I had a video on. Don, if your granddaughter, yeah, if your grandson is too young, I mean, I'm going to be doing some other ones, though. I do plan on doing some kids' crafts now in the next few weeks just to try and get you guys to see there's ideas for kids to do. Um, I think what I'm going to do, just so that it stays together, my young granddaughter will be doing online college classes. Yeah, there, there are going to be online classes, too. So I'm going to just squirt some glue in side of here and I'm running out and I'm just using my little glue gun because this is my low temp gun otherwise I prefer my cordless all right and they're gonna get a little messy doing it but I think your kids are gonna have fun doing this so just tuck in moss You don't need to tuck it all the way in full. Hi, Carol. Thank you, Judy Ann. This really is awesome for kids. I'm excited that you guys are excited that this would be great for them. Like I said, go out and gather those branches. All right, so there's the moss. I think I'm actually going to add a little more so it comes above. So I'm just doing a little more glue up on top here because I want to see that green. Um, that adds some color and dimension. Hi, Crafty Myrna. Whenever I see Hi, Crafty, I know it's you. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Thank you for passing it on already. All right. And again, this is Dollar Tree Moss. Dollar Tree 
pot cut from this, from the Dollar Tree, branches cut from my yard off of my trees just now at the last minute when I changed direction of what I was going to show you all. I'm going downstate with the grandkids and do some crafting with them. Yep, keep them busy. All right, there. I love that. Even just like this would be cute. Now, if you're doing it for yourself, I maybe you stop at this, but kids want to do more. All right, so there's all kinds of things. You could get like these little, I look in your craft stash, look in, um, I used to keep a bag and I don't know if my kids remember this, but when they were little and I was a stay at home mom, if I had toilet paper rolls, which there's some people are going to have a lot of them now more than others. Um, but if I had toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls or like scrap fabric or scrap yarn or whatever, I would throw it into a bag and on rainy days, like during the summers or, you know, whenever, I'd pull that bag out and they could get creative. So I'd have a bag full of stuff. So again, I don't know if they remember it, but that's what I did. So now it's rainy days. You need to come up with things to get kids happy. So um, these are things, again, you can put this around, like stick it around different places and do things with stuff like this or beads, whatever you have on hand, look around. Little pom-poms would be cute. You could have little pom-poms, little Easter eggs hanging off, adorable. Just put little ribbons on them. Um, I've got little, just these are cheap dollar, I think dollar well these were dollar 99 but i know i even got them on sale little cheap flowers you just pull them off and you put them let me just let me put them up i'm not going to see what i'm doing but and i think i'm going to cut off hi linda and francine all right let me put this on and I'm just gonna put them in different places. Now, when the kids have fun doing this, you can give up some of your stash. These are things that I probably really wouldn't use in things that I'm gonna make and sell or anything like that. So I'm absolutely happy with doing this. Um, and when I'm done with this, I'll show you what you can do with it and the kids will love it. So just add, I know I'm gonna get some glue on me. Just keep adding the little. Now there's other, these were from Walmart, I think last year I got them, last summer probably. Look at, I mean there were probably, what, six, seven of them on there. Um, I have a tag on here from Walmart, $2. Um, but again, use what you have in your house. So I'm maybe just gonna put this down here. And we're just gonna decorate this up. Uh-oh, Myrna. Thank you, Robin. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah, I hope you guys um, stay busy with kids. Um, again, that's what I'm gonna try and do more of the kids' crafts. A lot of them will not be um, um, uh, what, what word am I looking for? They're not going to be, um, as creative like that I actually created them, um, because there's so much out there already. If you just go on Pinterest and that's what I'm going to do for some of these. So look at, I've got these little, just, just pull them apart. These are ones that I probably won't use. Um, let's put some of this color up in the tree. Just lay it on. And again, if you use that thick and tacky glue, the younger kids can maybe do this. All right, let's finish decorating. What else do we got? We've got some, some leaves. If you get tough and rip them off, um, you can maybe stick, I don't know if I, well, I don't know if I necessarily want leaves. You might want leaves. Let's put a pretty pink flower up here. Now, I really, really wish I had what I was thinking of here. And if you wait one minute, I could probably get it. But let's just, let's stick maybe a couple, a couple.
couple of these into by this moss. Stick that in there. So isn't this fun and easy for kids? So I think you get the idea of it. I won't even go get what I was gonna get, but what it was, I was gonna get some either raffia or jute or ribbon and make a little bow and put a little bow down here. Um, just have the kids go fun. And even if they do up on here, um, definitely just cut the end a little shorter. Put this on. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Susan. Have them go crazy and decorate. This is all leftover stuff. Um, I have little white ones here, but I don't, I don't know that you would see them, but that would be so cute. I'll, I'll add a little white, white down here. And then let me show you what we're gonna do when they're done decorating it. Ah, that was hot. No, it was, it's low temp, but it is hot. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Yeah, your grandkids will love this. Grandkids, kids, but yeah, definitely on cardboard. This is canvas, but I said at the beginning, use cardboard if you have cardboard. Um, maybe cover it um, or paint it so that it's light colored, or if you have a light colored cardboard. So this is the way you start, and look at how you're gonna finish it. And you're, you just made wall art for the kids. Now, I mentioned that, I think. So now this is just a frame. You can get these frames at Dollar Tree. This is 11 by 14 and this is 11 by 14. I don't know positively that this was from Dollar Tree. It's just what I had here. You take out the glass. Um, you could use the cardboard in the back of it. You don't have to go and get another cardboard or anything. And you're just gonna put it right in. And you got wall art. Now you can't tell me that the kids wouldn't love doing this. And this would keep them busy probably for an hour. So that's an hour out of three weeks that you don't have to think of something else.